Hello everyone. This video is the continuation of my last video where I talked about data analysis and interpretation. Last time we went on to study fundamentals of DI and doing couple of examples. Today also we will do some more examples so that you can become more comfortable with the type of DI questions asked in UGC net exam. So let's get started. In this example, a table is given below which contains the data on sales revenue generated by a company while selling books of different genres during 2010 to 2013. Based on given data, we need to answer the questions asked below. So let's do the first question. In 2011, what percentage of total revenue was generated through selling biographies? So, as we can see in the table, the total revenue generated for biography in 2011 equals 65 lakh. And the total revenue generated from all genre books in 2011 is equal to 245 lakh. Therefore, the percentage revenue equals 65 divided by 245 times 100, which gives us 26.53%. Coming to the next question, it is asked, during which consecutive years did we observe the highest drop in sales revenue of business books? Now, for solving this question, we are going to use this formula. By percentage change, I refer to percentage growth as well as percentage reduction, depending upon the question. It is a very important formula and is almost always required to solve DI questions in net exam. I recommend you to learn this formula by heart. So let's apply this to our data. First, we calculate the percentage change in the sales revenue of business books during 2010-2011. So, look at the table. Here, we have an initial sales revenue of 92 lakhs and a final sales revenue of 85 lakhs. Therefore, the final minus initial equals 85 minus 92. That's what we have done here. So, we have final minus initial 85 minus 92 divided by the initial value 92 and then multiplied by 100 in order to get the percentage. The negative sign indicates a drop or decrement in our final value. So, during 2010-2011, a drop of 7.6% was observed in the sales revenue of business books. Similarly, we calculate the percentage drop in the sales revenue of business books for these consecutive years. And on comparing, we see that during 2011-2012, the highest drop in sales revenue for business books was observed. Coming to the third question, if the year 2014 were to show the same growth in terms of total sales revenue of fiction books as the year 2013 showed over 2012, then the revenue in 2014 for the same is expected to be approximately 1. So let's try this by applying this formula of percentage change. We have growth rate in the sales revenue for fiction books during 2012-2013 equals final minus initial divided by initial times 100. So in 2013 the sales revenue was 67 and in 2012 it was 63. 
Hence goes this expression. Therefore, for 2013-14, also we want the same growth rate of 6.35%. So let X be the expected sales revenue for fiction books in 2014. Therefore, we have X minus 67 divided by 67 times 100, which gives us 6.35. On solving for X, we get 71.25 lakh as the sales revenue that would have been generated in 2014. Coming to the next question, for how many number of years per year, the growth rate in the sales revenue of fiction books exceeds that of travel books? For fiction books, the growth in sales revenue is observed during 2011-2012 and 2012-2013. And just like we did for previous questions, here also we compute percentage growth rate in the same manner. For travel books also, we see the positive growth rate during 2011-2012 and 2012-2013. Calculate the growth rate for these years and compare it with the previously found ones. We see that the percentage growth rate in sales revenue for travel books is always greater than that of fiction books. Therefore, our answer is zero. In the last part of this example, we are asked to find that genre of book that has the highest average sales revenue over the given years. This is a very simple one. For each genre, calculate the average of the sales revenue generated during 2010 to 2013, as shown here, and then simply compare among themselves. We find that business books has the highest sales revenue for these years. Let us proceed with the next example. It is a question asked in July 2018 paper of UGC net. The table shown below has the data on production, exports and per capita consumption of rice in some country C for 5 years 2012 to 2016. Answer the questions based on the data contained in the table. The first question is, in which year the population of the country was the highest? Now, here below the table, we are given a couple of formulas that we need to use in order to solve the questions. The first one is per capita consumption, which equals consumption in million kg divided by population in million and the second one is consumption equal to production minus exports now remember per capita is equivalent to saying per person in question one we are asked to find the year in which the population of the country was the highest so obviously we first need to compute the population for each year. Population can be calculated from this formula. But here we are not familiar with the value of consumption as it is not given to us directly. Only per capita consumption is known to us as it is given in the table here. So to find the value in numerator we will use this formula. So let's try to do this for the year 2012. In 2012, the production of rice is 186.5 million kg and exports is 114 million kg. Their difference will give us the net consumption which here is 72.5 million kg. Plugging this value in this expression, 
we have 36.5 equal to 72.5 divided by unknown population. Therefore, the population in 2012 came out to be 2 billion. Similarly, for the rest of the years, calculate the population in the same manner. And on comparing them, you will see that in 2016, the population of the country was highest. In question 2, we are asked about exports to consumption ratio and when it was highest. So, all we need to do is find this expression for each year. In 2012, we have an export of 114 million kg. In the last question, we have already found out the consumption value, which is 72.5. Just divide these two numbers and you will get the answer. Do the same for each year and you will see that exports to consumption ratio was highest in the year 2012. In question number 3, we are asked to find the population in 2014, which we already found while solving question 1. So let's move on to the next question. The percentage increase in the consumption of rice over the previous years was highest in which year? So again, we need to use this formula. To find percentage increase in consumption, we subtract the initial consumption value of 2012 to the final consumption value of 2013 and then divide it by the initial value. So by doing that, we get this expression which equals 21.38%. Repeat the same procedure for the rest of the years also. So, in the end, you will get that the percentage increase in consumption of rice was highest in 2014 as compared to the previous year 2013. Therefore, our answer is 2014. In the last question, we are asked to compute the average consumption of rice over these years. Since we have already found out the consumption values for each year in question 1, we just need to calculate the average value for it, which is done here. This gives us 100.1 million kg. So friends, with this, we conclude the data analysis and interpretation part. If you are facing any problem in understanding any part, please let me know in the comment section. Thank you.